We got Nathan J. Burroughs joining us via Zoom. Good afternoon, Mr. Burroughs. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me, first of all. I really appreciate your time. No problem. I appreciate you coming through. Um, for, I got to ask you, what is what is social dance? Yeah, so when we talk social dancing, we're talking about connecting with a partner and moving around the floor. So most uh, traditionally people know things like salsa, mm. waltz, tango, foxtrot. This involves holding someone and moving around the floor. And by extension, we even include line dancing in there because everybody's kind of following uh, a routine together, you know? Okay. So it's a form of cultural, that do we have of traditional Bahamian social dance? Uh, and uh, uh, this is a very important question. And the reality behind this is that uh, most older folks, when they hear social dance, they're thinking quadrille. And I've been in quite a few heated discussions about this. And, and with the majority, what I want your audience to know is that the quadrille is a colonial dance. It was a dance that was shared by all colonial countries, you mm -hmm. know? So it, it, is it really a Bahamian social dance? No, it isn't, you know? Although we had, did it here, um, it was because of our... Uh, <laughs> Uh, people who were ruling this country at the time who shared this with our people, you know, but we, we've we since evolved. We're, we're more independent now, so we should have a social dance that's truly re uh, representative of who we are as a people, you know? And we don't is what you're saying. There's there's none? And we don't, but I do have a, I do have something to bring to the table because I'm not one of those creatives who like to complain about the way things are and then don't offer anything, right? Mm -hmm. So my suggestion to every Bahamian musician, uh, anybody involved in Bahamian culture, is that we 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 lock in the term gombe as the Baham as the Bahamas' official social dance, and not just the social dance. That this would be called the Bahamians' official style of music. That this would group rake and scrape, junk canoe, and and also calypso by extension, because you know we share this this music style with other 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 countries, right? So this is um, something you're creating. This is something, this is a problem that I'm trying to solve. And this is actually the social dance style. I've already created this. This is a big part of what I was working on during the pandemic when okay. it first started. Um, I moved to Long Island and I just started working. I started talking with people like Fred Ferguson and others who are, are, are heated about this topic. And um, if, you, if anybody has ever talked with Fred Ferguson about this, you will know how passionate he is about our culture being watered down and being... Yeah, I was going to say, anybody. if you talk you to know, Fred Ferguson about anything, he's passionate. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. So, so I, I recorded a video of me teaching the Gumbe, and I, I, I published it on Facebook, and um, it, 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 was, it was received quite well, you know. Um, I've since taught a, a quite a number of my students about it. I performed this on, on different stages in the U.S. and here in the Bahamas. And this is something that I hope that we could push. You know, this is something I hope that we could all get together on and finally say we know what Bahamian social dance looks like and we know what Bahamian music really looks like, you know. And this is on your Facebook page. Yeah, yeah, and I'm actually gonna uh, send you the link. I'll I'll share that with you so that way you can uh, easily have that and you can share it with your network. You know, excellent. So uh, explain for me. You have a background in dance, is what you're saying. Is, is, explain to me your background. Right, right. So what's important for everyone to know is that I've been doing this for ten years. Um, I started right here in the Bahamas, uh, but during that time I was in college in the states. So I actually came over on a summer, discovered that this was happening and went back to the States, got involved with a, a, a social dance school, got trained, and I just fell in love with teaching more than anything. And then that's when I came back and I realized this gap that we have in the Bahamas. We have so many people that are dancing here um, professionally, like taking classes and learning how to social dance professionally. Um, but then there was this gap that um, we weren't really recognized as one voice, one body, all speaking the same kind of message. So um, over the past year or two, um, I've been really making this huge effort to try to tell as many Bahamians as we can, many people of influence, uh, that this is a cultural product that we need to get on board with because every major culture in the world has their own social dance and they have their own events that they invite everybody around the world to come and participate in. But we're, here we are in the Bahamas, people are doing this, but 
we're not getting that representation. We're not getting that support from large entities, you know? Yeah, so, well, I, I don't know if many people know about it because this is the first exactly. I've heard of it. Yeah. Exactly. So the dance this is, is called Gumbe. Long time. Yeah, Gumbe. Gumbe, okay. And is it yeah. like, is it an upbeat thing or is it, but does it vary? Yeah, you know, so this is a dance that you would do to your break and scrape, John Canoe, and Calypso. And when I assembled this, I studied really hard on how Bahamians naturally move their body. And I reflected on the way that my dad, my dad would dance. You know, we had a family party, just watching him. He's a traditional Christian man. You know, he's not really out there like that. But when he moves, mm -hmm. It's, there's no mistaking what he's doing. It looks so familiar. You know, he's moving those shoulders and he's shrugging and he's swinging with that, you know? And um, Like, has I, he got this, like, mash the roach involved? Is that? Yes, all yeah. of that. Everything that's familiar when we think about Bahamian moves, right? We have Bahamian moves, like you said, mash the roach, um, the comp style and things like this. These are moves, but this is not a, a formalized de social dance style gotcha. until we start talking uh, layers of technique, you know, mm -hmm. beginner, intermediate, and technique. And I've, I've done the work to be able to assemble this, you know? Okay. So, so there's, get it out there. okay. So there's currently, you say a social dance scene. Where's, yes. where's that kicking off? Yeah. So we just Long this, Island or other places? No, no. Uh, we've actually, we've actually had people dancing in the Bahamas from a long time, as far back as the, 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 um, the uh crystal palace um the the ballroom back then when I, I forgot the name of the people who were dancing back then but from long time people have been dancing and and familiar names would be people like mighty uh my everybody knows mighty and zumba but she's the one that kind of started it all if it wasn't for her then the person who introduced me to social dance would have never been involved mm. so cabaret um, is that it, the that that's the? thank you yeah. thank you very much we've had the cabaret there's a Everybody who would have been around and, 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 and cycled these scenes, they would have known a particular dance instructor. I can't remember his name, but I know he I know that this person exists and he moved to Canada some time ago, but he was the big guy who was teaching salsa and all this stuff back then. Um, so he's left and you know the scene kind of died down. Then we had Mighty, like I'm saying, she's a Cuban dance dancer who's been living here for, for years. Um, and she taught the person who taught me. And um, Salima Harbour, she actually just moved to Eleuthera. We have a social dance scene in Eleuthera. We have a social dance scene in Grand Bahama. I'm over there in Long Island. We have a scene here in New Providence. And, and there are people that you can go to to take lessons, such as myself. I come down to New Providence once a month to host lessons. And I have instructors here as well. And, um, and this is the, first, the scene is uh, active, yeah. you know? Okay, so how do you... How do you get involved if you want to know? Well, I'll tell right. you, uh, I can't. Dance. My wife is a great dancer, uh, <laughs> but I got nothing. I got well, no moves. Let me, let, me, <laughs> let me share this with you. I, I know your audience may find this particularly interesting, but I've heard every single excuse that there is. I've been teaching for de uh, like a decade right now. You know, I've heard every single excuse that anyone could possibly say to avoid learning how to dance. I've heard the no fee thing. I've heard the lack of rhythm. Uh, I'm too old. I'm too slow. I'm too young. I'm w whatever. But what I want to encourage your audience to recognize is that social dance is a respectable activity. This is more than just your traditional going down to the dance hall, letting a gal wind up on you. It's way, way deeper than that. It's about teaching a guy leadership characteristics so he knows how to hold a lady with confidence and is teaching the, the lady how to follow in a non-subservient way. This is just about role playing, you know? So. Um, I would I would employ your audience to take a dance lesson, um, either it's with me or one of our instructors, and uh, get out there. You know, I even want to let your audience know that um, I'm willing to give you all a nice little discount on lessons. If anybody listening to this phone call is super interested in learning how to dance, simply call me up. Um, one, I don't know if you mind me leaving my number. No, eight, please go ahead. Go ahead. 8039929 call me up and if you just simply say the Bahamas social dance revolution i will give you $100 off on your lessons on four lessons and we can make this happen for you okay don't worry about if you can't dance at some point you were born you didn't know how to walk you didn't know how to ride a bike at some point you didn't know how to swim but you learned you know so so now let me let me ask you this. Yeah. So you're trying to make it like a, a national dance. And so you and you have the Bahamas Social Dance Society. 
and yes. you're ahead of that. So how do yes. you go about making it a national dance? Just getting more people yes. to do it? Or is there are you in contact with the people at the Ministry of Culture? Thank you. And this is where I'm hoping, again, that you, this audience, this time with you would be able to uh, bring this out there. I truly feel that we need to embrace social dancing as a national education program where we can um, see the value of having a, a social dance program in schools, in the public school system. Like part of the curriculum. More, yeah. Yes, yes, Juan, because with, with our, if we have an ministry of education, that ministry of education should think about how are, we, how are we cultivating families first. And I say this like this because social dancing, somehow because of all the different sub-lessons that are involved, it teaches you about uh, all the different um, uh, skills that is necessary to be involved with the team, to, to be able to be humble and learn how to do these, um, I forget what the, the proper name for this, but these soft skills that require us mm -hmm. to advance ourselves as a culture. Yes. This is, this is a platform for us to do this. So we need to, just as, just as much of a priority as we put on sports, we need to be able to put a priority on uh, social education, especially coming out of the pandemic. Yep. We need to have uh, uh, emotional education, uh, 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 this emotional intelligence that comes through social dancing. You yeah, know? I know that the the president of the Industrial Tribunal, uh, Indira Francis, she does ah. uh, salsa, right? <laughs> I and she is listening right now because she's the lady who got me started, man. Oh, okay, she's yeah. The lady who got me started. And when I, she <laughs> said, Juan, you got to do, because I went to go talk to her about something totally different when she was at the Court of Appeal. And she was like, Juan, you got to come check out my salsa thing. And I was like, yes. Bahamians doing salsa. And yes, I checked man. it out and it was like this big, huge thing with people coming yes. from around the world yes. to dance salsa in the Bahamas. I was blown away. You could do Listen. that too. You could have a, like a tourist thing going on. But this is it. This is the product that I'm hoping people would open up their minds to. Um, and, and it's funny how you said that, right? So Indira's angle when she started her school was uh, taking it in the direction of that Latin direction, that salsa direction. Mm -hmm. So her school is called the Bahamas Social Dance uh, Society. Uh, sorry, sorry, the Bahamas Salsa Social Network. That's right, the Bahamas Salsa Social Network. Mm -hmm. So um, during the time when I started learning, I, all I was was a, a salsa dancer. You understand? My my big crutch was that all I knew how to do was dance salsa. Mm -hmm. And so when I found my uh, this other instructor that I got connected with in the U.S. right near my college, um, he broke my perception on what social dancing is. You know, I, I never said social dance until I met this guy, and he was able to put me in the hot seat pretty much and for me out of my comfort zone with just knowing how to do a little salsa. I mean, if you talk to Bahamians about what is social dance, they might say, oh, you mean that salsa thing? You know, mm -hmm. salsa is so popular that this is all that people know, but they don't they don't think about the swing dancing, the hustle, the, the tango, the foxtrot, the gombe, you understand? So yeah. I, I want I, I think, want you know, to see this. I think it's um, good to try to introduce this in schools as well. So that people start to get, and this and other things, so that people can refine their social graces in order to be more uh, socially cohesive. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because it seems okay. like a lot of times that we're not. Yeah. Yeah, but I yeah. love what you're saying. I'm happy you made this dance. How do people, where's the classes? How do people, uh, you gave your number, 803-9929. How yeah. else can they uh, reach out to you, uh, take the classes? When are the classes? Yeah. Where are the classes? Right. So group classes have been on pause here in New Providence since I had to close down my studio. Mm -hmm. However, what I do is I do private lessons. That's the, main, that's the main scene right now. And what I love about private lessons is it allows me to set, spend my time with people who are taking this seriously, as serious as maybe all the other students who've grown so much, you know? So they reach out to me. I either meet them at their home or they can meet me at a park. Uh, I've had quite a few people who just, they just like, we go down to a, a nearby community pavilion that they like, and we just go there and we dance. And it's a great time. Um, and and this, this is supposed to be natural. This is supposed to be straightforward and easy to do. So I've done as much as I can to make sure that 
um, I'm extending myself. It's more than just me who can teach these lessons. You know, I, we have junior instructors ready to go. So Excellent. it's just a matter of reaching out and getting getting started. You All know? right. So your Facebook page is yes, Nathan J. Burroughs, or is it the Bahamas Social Dance Society? Right. So if you want to find out about our general community, that would be uh, the Bahamas Social Dance Society on Facebook and other social media pages. If you want to find out about my individual school, my school with uh, the way that I do things, that would be NJB Social Dance. So just my initials, NJB Social Dance. And yeah, follow along, um, get plugged in and yeah, reach out about those lessons. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much. And in the conversation, we got to follow up with you. In a, in a little while to see how it all how it's all going all right yes but great stuff that. great work and being creative and trying to really uh define something for the bahamas that's excellent so thanks yes, so much my pleasure all right you take care you too now all right